You might not notice it when you see Wayne Thompson on the street, but Wayne and hundreds more like him suffer from a rare genetic illness, an illness that could see him lose his sight in his 40s. It's called choroideremia, a genetic mutation which means a particular gene for maintaining the eye's retina is not passed down from a child's mother to her children. Now Wayne is one of nine in a brand new academic trial to cure his illness. When I was diagnosed in my late teens, there was no, no treatment uh, for choroideremia. Uh, the surgeon or consultant didn't want to see me again because there was nothing they could do for me. For the last sort of 25 years, it's just living with the, the knowledge that I'm going to go blind. I was always faced with not being able to see my children grow up. Work would become a real issue, uh, mobility is an issue. Just two hours south from Wayne's home in Staffordshire, England, researchers from Oxford University have developed an all-new procedure to slow and even restore the loss of sight for patients like Wayne. This is the home of experimental genome therapy, a program developed by Oxford University that finally sees mounds of genetic data from all over the globe implemented within a clinical trial. Professor Robert McLaren is the leader of the university's project to use gene therapy, a technique where gene irregularities are replaced with healthy genes. In the case of choroideremia, by using something you don't typically think of, treating illness, rather causing it, a virus. Choroideremia is a genetic disease that causes blindness, and it's an inherited disease where a son will inherit it from his mother, and currently there's no cure for it. We're using a virus to take the normal DNA and put that DNA back into the cells. After identifying the missing gene, the researchers developed a procedure to create healthy DNA for the human retina. What we've got here is we've got the DNA which we're using to make the virus. The next step is we need to infect cells with it so that we can generate viral particles. We can then use it to infect the patients. The challenge was always going to be delivering the missing gene to the retina itself. Enter this, a harmless virus carried in two-thirds of each and every one of us, but powerful enough to deliver the missing gene to the billions of cells within the eye. In here we have 10 billion viral particles, which is what we would inject in each patient. Are you saying this is a potential cure for blindness? Absolutely, because in here is a virus containing the missing gene that the patients need to stop them from going blind. But gene therapy isn't without its controversy. Past studies have often been criticized for their success rates and even contracting other illnesses as a result of treatment. I guess you have to mitigate their hopes because you don't know what the outcome will be. Up until this point, there has been absolutely nothing for them. They've just been told, you're going to go blind and nothing can be done. Now we can say to them, we're doing a trial, it's a new technique, we don't know, what the, you know, we don't know what's going to happen, but so far the results are being very, very promising. And what was the patient's response like after the treatment? All these patients have had a full recovery from a surgery, the virus isn't causing any obvious problems to them, and we can see an early treatment effect. It's too early yet to know if that will be sustained, but the initial results have been very promising. And whilst the trial remains in its very early stages, Wayne says he's convinced something is happening. I was uh, out late one night, and uh, when my wife called me outside to, to look at the sky, because it was quite a starry evening, looked up and immediately saw a couple of stars, which, which doesn't sound amazing, but I've got such a narrow field of vision, but to be able to pick up a star through what I'd got left was, was quite exciting. And the university itself also seems hopeful for the technique to advance treatment of other genetic illnesses in the future. I think it will be a game changer. I've got no doubt about it because we have for the first time got a treatment for an incurable disease. We're treating the disease at the fundamental level at which it exists. I can see in the future many other eye diseases that have a genetic basis being treated with gene therapy. My daughter's a carrier as well, so in the future if she has a son, there's a 50-50 chance that he could get choroideremia as well. So there's always the hope that by the time he's starting to grow up that he can be treated and he won't be affected by it.